Welcome to part 28 of my walkthrough for Final Fantasy IX, my friends. We are about to step inside Echo's home, and this entire episode will revolve around cooking for Zidane and the rest of the party. So it's going to be an edition of Final Fantasy Hell's Kitchen, I guess. But we are also going to learn a lot more about summons, and there's a few items that we need to collect here before we can step out and advance with the game. Apparently Eiko lives with a bunch of Moogles, which is why whenever she says that she's all alone I, I feel bad for the Moogles because they keep her company. I do admit that Eiko can be a little bit overwhelming during this segment. She's rather infatuated with Zidane, but nonetheless, as soon as this cutscene plays out and Eiko finishes asking questions to Zidane, we're going to pick up the Libra Stellazio coin. Well, it seems to me that the Mughals work more as attendants to, to Aiko than actual teammates. Because it doesn't take her long to leave them all behind, but anyway. There's going to be a lot of active time events for us to witness. And one of them is mandatory because it involves Aiko preparing her food. And one of them is optional, but it can reassure that we prepare the best food possible for Zidane and the rest of the team. Anyway, we're going to leave Dagger here. There's another item to pick up here, but for now we're not going to get it because Dagger's standing in the way. And for some reason, whenever you try to pick up the item, Dagger will talk instead. So we're just going to leave her there for now, but by the time we come back, she won't be there.
Well, if this is the place where all the summoners were located, it makes sense that if Dagger can summon, then she would probably come from here as well. I don't think we need to wait for the storyline to let us know that to figure that one out. And yes, Queena just went for a swim, just because that's what Queena does. There's no doubt that Queena is the most random character in any Final Fantasy game. Okay, it's time for a cooking lesson. So what we need to do here is give the Moogles commands and depending on which task we give to each, to each Moogle, the food will be better or worse. We could ruin the food and it would be funny but we're going to try and make the most delicious food possible. I myself might need to grab lunch after this because it's about that time. There we go, fish and stew, that's going to be our meal. So let's start giving out some commands. So tell Mumatos to go ahead and fish. He can dig up potatoes. And lastly, he's going to help out in the kitchen. So that's all the orders that we need to give. See, I feel really bad for the Moogles here because Eiko says she doesn't want to be alone anymore. I get that she's talking about other human beings, but nonetheless, the Moogles, you know, they talk, they're smart, they can think for themselves and they've been keeping her company so it kind of I feel bad for the Moogles because it's like they're a second thought here and they don't matter that much when they've been taking care of Eiko for a while. So we're going to get Tagger first because obviously this would interest her. So we're going to get a little bit extra water since we're about to have an uninvited guest. So put water for 11 people. And now we're going to fish a very unique fish. And now don't put in the ooglop because that's just nasty. To be fair, in a lot of countries people like to eat bugs. I never tried it myself, but anyway, we're going to give him a hand and we're going to catch the rarest fish of them all, it's not the magic carp, the Quina, there we go.
quite like the, the theme song that plays when you're inside the Eidolon wall. It's rather peaceful yet sad, I think. all of the summons are represented in the walls here and much later on we can come back here and solve a small puzzle which will tell us Dagger's true name but that's for much later on in the game, like I said. So for now, we're going to leave Dagger doing her own thing. And it's time to go back to Elle's Kitchen. Queen is kind of like Gordon Ramsay, I think. And she's going to give Aiko some tips, if we accept, of course. But since Queen is supposed to be this master cook, we are going to accept, otherwise the food won't be as good. Even though, like I said, it doesn't really change anything in the story, so even if you mess up the food, it doesn't matter. funny how Queen is saying that there's always the possibility that more guests show up when Queen is clearly that guest. Anyway, it's time to go get the food and then once again there's just going to be a lot of dialogue going on. But, we can pick up another type of rare coffee for the theater ship side quest, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. We'll be able to get it in just a little bit after we finish the meal. It seems that the Mughals are either eating in the other room or they, they only get to eat after they eat, which is kind of sad. I mean, I see a sad Mughal up in the window, so maybe they eat afterwards, who knows, which is unfair because they work very hard for this meal. Not quite, you're not the only survivor, but we'll get to that later. So 
it seems that there were a few summoners who survived but apparently they all died maybe it was only Eiko's parents and Eiko's grandparents who survived and she talks about her grandpa So we are going to bring the pot over because we want to get the coffee. Well, it seems to me that the summoners were highly cultured people, so no surprise there. Anyway, let's pick up the pot. Take it inside and after we talk with Eiko we can get the coffee. I always thought that they sealed the idol on there to protect the tree, but I guess that's not the case. And isn't it kind of unfair for the salmon? I mean, if they fail to make the salmon happen, they just seal it. That seems kind of unfair. So yeah, Queen is going to stay behind. But everyone else will go to the tree and that will set the chain of events in motion. Just make sure that before you step out you get the coffee and now we can go and talk with Vivi who's feeling still rather blue. We're going to witness a very weird ritual. It does feel like Vivi looks up to Zidane a little bit, I mean, I can understand why. Zidane has given a lot of advice to Vivi, not always good advice, but nonetheless, it seems that Vivi looks up to Zidane. This is kind of weird, this age-old ritual between male friends. I've never heard of such thing, but oh well. Now before you ask, I'm sure 
your mind might have wondered. But what Vivi and Zidane are doing is peeing together. Apparently that's a thing, but that's all they do. So, yeah. Though I can understand why you'd think that letting yourself go <laughs> under the stars meant something else, but you can even see the twinkle twinkle text appear, so yeah. It's weird nonetheless, it's very weird, but if it makes Vivi feel better, I didn't even know that black mages, you know, had penises, but apparently they do. I don't know if Tagger's bothered with the fact that Aiko's coming along or if she's jealous. It's probably one of the two. Or maybe both, who knows. And you can come back inside and buy some items from Morrison. You can buy a few magic tags if you want. They cure the zombie status and Inside the tree we're going to encounter a lot of undead monsters, so it will come in handy to have the magic tag because there's one monster that can put your characters in the zombie status. Also make sure that all of your party members have or are learning the body temp ability so that they are protected against mustard bomb. I'll go over that in the next segment as well because it only really matters for the boss fight. But you can also give Zidane the Undead Killer skill, speed things up a little bit. And aside from that you'll be good. Like I said, the most important thing is to have the body temp ability equipped. And you only need to do that once you're inside the tree, really. You don't need to worry about it now. But sometimes I forget about these things, so I might as well do it now, just to be on the safe side. Also buy a Multina rocket for Echo. I'm actually debating if I need it right now though, so probably only I will probably only buy it once I come back later. But that's going to be it for this segment, my friends. In the next segment, a lot of things are going to be happening. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later for the next part. Take care.